Oh, so as I was doing a field walkthrough, almost done here uh, with my day today, I realized uh, it's uh, it's quite apparent we're gonna work on this trial because uh, I just noticed I'm colorblind, so it takes me a little while to see things sometimes. But uh, looks like that side of the field which I'm taking 13 rows on this side, that, that, that way, this, this way, these trees over here, I'm taking 13 rows, you can see the grass on my side, still green, uh, although this row here, chopped and dropped, and ready to be mulched onto this row, using it as a resource, uh, instead of looking at it as a pestilence, looking at it as something that's going to complement and enhance my plants, and the soil biology, and the whole ecosystem that I'm cultivating here, uh, but, this side, uh, the side that we are doing the comparison against, against well, with, I, not against, I, I like to be pro everything, uh, and there's always a way to frame everything in a positive light so that we can all feel good about what we're doing and the choices we're making because we're all in this together and we are all one. However, this side just got nuked by some herbicides, some Roundup, I believe is the tool. I don't know if it's exactly that. It's definitely glyphosate based. I don't know if it's the name brand Roundup. It may be Ranger Plus or whatever they sell it as these days. But this side of the field, which is actually significantly larger than mine, I only have about a third of the field. Um, so, and it's just one farmer doing the other side. So, you know, and this is the technique that's usually employed is. Uh, just nuking the field with uh, Roundup. So you can see this, this side, the grass is starting to desiccate. Uh, the minerals are being sucked out of the plant, translocated and washed away. So the grass has no chance to grow. The microbes are completely dead. So there's no life support system for the whole, um, this whole part of the field. <laughs> uh, but this is how it's done. And uh, I'm really, I, man, I'm just overjoyed. I worked my ass off today. I even got a blister on my finger working, finding out what it's like to be a real farmer. Because I've talked for years about farming this, farming that, and I've been called a couch farmer. And it's quite true. I've never taken on a project this large. But man, am I full of energy today. <laughs> I just, I was just stoked. I was going to quit like two rows ago weed whacking and I was just so fired up and so pumped because I'm realizing how much of an impact this can have because if you're doing this type of farming not only are you killing the grass you're also getting it on your skin you're also passing it on to the future it's also washing into our aquifer I think they even found Roundup in rainwater it's evaporating up and it's coming down and it is a good thing that we and this project right here, this side of the field, is going to show us how to transition off that. And it might seem a little crazy right now that I'm spending so much time and labor cutting the grass and being out here and doing all this stuff, but in the long run you'll see my fruit will be, the, the proof will be in the papaya. And um, my goals are really to eliminate the use of toxic chemicals uh, to show that it's possible with um, without spending a whole lot of money. You know, right now I'm learning about the, the best ways to do labor. I've already purchased a weed whacker and, in, and definitely increased the amount of speed I can spend out here. What was taking me, you know, an hour with, uh, with a sickle is now taking me about 10 minutes. Well, not 10, maybe like 15 minutes with uh, a weed whacker and a little fossil fuel. So I've, I've significantly I've cut my labor in, in a, uh, by three quarters or four times, I guess is a better way of saying that. Um, and, you know, I got a lot to learn. I'm not saying I got all the answers. I'm saying that I'm so fired up, so pumped to do this experiment because... I want to see these trees, like this this disease, this black spot that's right here, this black spot, I want to see it go away naturally. I want to see this fruit become medicine. I want to see this tree be so healthy that it doesn't need to be on a life support system of, of chemicals developed for war. I want to see it 
based on life-giving principles that give this tree everything it needs to be so robust. You know, healthy people don't need medicine. If you're eating good food and you are in a great environment, there is no need for life support system. And that's where I want to go with this project. I'm so stoked, especially when I get to see this comparison right here and show that it can be done. I, I, this guy right here, I'm gonna do it. And I'm doing it right here in this today, you know? Um, so, aloha.